If you like this video, please click like, subscribe, share, and if you want coaching with me in Nottingham or online, all the information is in the bio. So this week, I'm doing three little practice routines that I think are gonna help you score heavier. Here goes. All right, so the first one's a blue. Pot the blue, get on the blue. All the time you have to negotiate the path of the white. Obviously this one's pretty standard. There we go. Just off straight there. So this one, I'm gonna have to just play on it again. So if I come low and then now I'm gonna have to go in and out of bulk. So this shot here, so I'm gonna play between the green and brown to get back on the blue. And then all I'm doing is learning where I have to hit on the white to get the white where I want it to go. Look, don't wanna to have too much screw there because then I come too wide and I'm back perfect again, obvs. So I have to go a bit forward now. I'm running out of balls this side of the table. Right, there you go, but on an angle now. And again, same. Now I know I'm playing on the blue again, but the lines are probably pretty similar. So for this shot here, I'm going to come out in between yellow and brown and bring my white around here somewhere. And it's the same line as if I was playing on a red there. So you just obviously you just hit it a bit harder in a, in a, if you're playing for a red. But again, you're just learning where to hit on the white to get those paths. There we go, let's try it. Oh. I, just, I just instinctively know what height to play. And just see how many blues you can get without missing. Um, it can be harder than you think, it's very easy to lose your white. Playing a blue that's too hard, but that's the blue. All right, pop the pink, get on the pink. I'm not just going to try and get on it. I'm going to try and test myself. Um, I'm going to try and get on, try and go the white to go around in a circle in the pockets, pop them in the circle. So I need to get the right angle, obviously. And all the time I am finding where that spot is, that height to control the white like I want. So I've got a little bit of an angle there. Look, so now I can play the same shot and play for the red, uh, sorry, pink in the middle. There we go. So a bit lower. There we go, look, that's perfect. So now I'm gonna go the other way. You can keep going that way, um, go the other way. So I need to be higher on the white to make the white go, give me the different angle. There, look, so now the white's gone this side of that line. So now I can play the other way. I'm gonna try it again. So I need to go a bit lower. Place it right, obvs. There we go. See there, I went a bit too, bit too high, so I ain't got much of an angle, but I'm gonna try and force an angle, get right in the middle, just right in the middle, the white will move for me. Potting angle is the same. There you go, look. And then, I play on the pink. There you go. Mix it up a little bit and just keep playing these shots all the time. You're working around that pink spot, getting familiar with the pots so that even a little pink like that in the middle, you play it so often, you just the angle just comes to you. That's the pink. So the black, very important ball, obviously. It's worth being good at this, this shot. So pot the black, get on the black. Again, not just getting on it, trying to test yourself by getting on it. So obviously I'm gonna try and get on it high, this side. Stay this side of the table. Create the right obs. There we go. Sorry, OCD people. That's too hard. So I need to try and control it now. So there we go, create the right. There we go, back in perfect condition. position. 
Now, if I want to go that side, I can sort of go one side to the other. If I want to sort of try that, pick me height. Look, so I've got high on it. So now I can play the same shot to go this side. And I know you're playing on the black, like I said, with the blue, but it's worth being good at these shots. And the lines are all the same. You know, you might be playing on a red where you need to to pick, to pick that line to get on it. And you just know where, you just instinctively know where on the white to aim, the height of it. Just keep potting and see how many you can get. You know, you can go, just set yourself a target and see if you can hit it. There you go. Obviously, you're playing on a colour to get on a colour. But all those pots, it's worth being really familiar with uh, as far as picking the line. You just want to be able to look at them and go, that's where I need to hit it. So you can't play them enough, really, especially the blacks are spot or the, or the sort of the, the pinks in the middle. You see them missed. So it's just really worth practicing them a lot. And even though you're playing on a colour, those lines that you're picking, the, the, the lines that you're going to pick as far the path the white's going on that you're going to be playing on reds around those parts of the table even the blue up and down you know if you're playing for a red near the pink you probably send it on that path so if you can learn through repetition what high or where you need to aim on the white to get it on that path you're going to be a better player for it absolutely and i think it's something i get asked a lot about what's the right shot is that the other feel going it's the right shot and you have to make that decision yourself, basically. And also, where do I have to hit on the white to, to make the, the white go where you've just put it when I've shown people? But I think, although you can, you know, it's nice to be sending you a PDF because of, of where to hit on the white because different tables are going to play a bit different. You know, different me hitting a certain point on the white might have a little bit different reaction to what you will because of the way, you know, the way your cue cues jacked up. Or I might just see it differently because I don't know what you're seeing nobody does you know what i mean so i think you've just got to do it by repetition so when the professionals are playing and i know the professionals but it's all relative they're just playing through through feel and they just know how to play the shot so that's why i'm always like a dog with a bone i want to direct people's attention to actually playing the game where they're aiming on the white and how how they move their white around it's really the way to go it really really is um this this game is a lot more about feel um and, and like i say these these shots that you're playing there they're pretty simple pots you'll see a mist but to be a better player you just have to see them and go that's where i need to send it so any questions please comment below if you agree with me or not agree with me please let me know uh, and yes i'll see you soon